Alrighty, welcome one and all back to another episode there. How's everybody doing? Hopefully you're all having a wonderful day there. As always, be sure to stay sure, stay alive, and always be safe. Where we last left off, uh, we managed to get into the um, bit of a, the squeezer section right here. So if we go to here, uh, we managed to get to this and stuff like that. So coming back, which is what is a lie, we managed to get a squeezer. Um, Thanks to your wonderful, wonderful comments, if we were to go back out. So, we were trying to figure out how to get the squeeze to work. Thanks to your lovely comments. Um, I realized how to fix this, and it's based on certain sides that this will go into. So, thank you guys so much for the support right there on that one. Read that. Also, I took another one of your suggestions, and um, behold, the lovely little masterpiece right here. That took me quite a bit, but we managed to get um, we have some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful more. Compare this. We had we had two of these, well, three of these. Sorry, and then uh, we managed to get one, two. Then we added a bunch more, moved it all here. So we have a storage. We have a storage vault. We have a uh, farmland and their farmland, and then we have two build areas, as well as uh, an unused one. Um. Uh, so pretty much three build areas, one and use one for another machines or big multi-block structures. We got the tiny room maker, and then we have the machines, which is pretty much uh, one of these as well. Uh, gone ahead and added a steel pick to those. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, as well as we go check on the vault. I took one of you guys' suggestions to use wooden crate storages, which is actually not that bad. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, and I also went ahead and organized these bit by bits right here. So we got ourselves uh, abundance of stuff right there. What we need now is blaze these blaze powders right here. So let us continue and move on here. So we go. We want to go out and fill this up uh, to the river here. So we take this. Oops. We take this. We toss in one of these and we start jumping. There we go. And I and I guess we just break this because I don't think yeah. So we pretty much need to do this in a couple of times right here. Um, we just jump around up and down right here to get lava. So we need to get a bucket of lava. There we go. Treated wood. We need uh, work engineer's workbench. Oh, okay. So let's. An, oh. That that's a full bucket right there. Bada bing, bada boom. We have got ourselves a full bucket, boys. <laughs> Later, I might gain my city down. All right, so we got ourselves a full bucket of lava. So what we're gonna do now is take one of these buckets, and we're just gonna backtrack out and backtrack out again and collect it. So there we go. We got ourselves a nice bucket of uh, lava right there. We'll keep that right there just in case. But um, let me see here. Uh, netherrack. Oh, so we need to make netherrack. And that's just put dropping redstone into it, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, barrel next to it. Perhaps check, uh, oh, with a barrel next to it. Please check, uh, where you spawn first. Okay, yeah. Okay, so netherrack. Netherrack, netherrack, netherrack. So, we're gonna go over here. Grab a redstone, because the redstone will go with netherrack, if I'm last not mistaken. If not, I can just go back and redo it. So, let's see here. And there we go. And this is another rack. So now we figure out a way to make lava, and we've figured out a way to make another rack. Lava is really good because uh, if we need power, we can switch over to lava. Uh, but let us check things out. There. All right. So now we have power. Uh, a brain goes oof. Yeah, my brain definitely went oof for the last episode there. Useful for automating lava productions, uh, but requires netherrack to make, uh, which requires lava. <laughs> oh, bring you a zoof, but yeah, this, so this makes lava, but in return, so you basically cost lava to make lava, which, how much, okay, how much does this really give me? How much lava does a netherrack give me? Um, uh, one megabucket, one bucket, one bucket, uh, let's see here. So, 
I guess it wouldn't be so bad to make this. Make the, uh, so we can get more lava and then we can just put cobblestone in. It gives us a good, it gives us purpose for our diorite and stuff like that, so, yeah. Uh, crude oil. Does it take netherrack? Ooh, surprisingly enough, does it? Snowball will make that, okay. Um. Redstone will make, uh, the stabilized redstone. Yeah, okay, okay. Um. Uh, what is this? Greatly increases lava production speed. Only lava can be created. That might be that might be a bad thing actually, but we don't have any upgrades at the moment. Actually, how what, what did they change the upgrade kid? Upgrade. Uh, uh hard and upper kit, which is a copper gear invar. Our invar is made with uh invar blend, which is iron and nickel. Invar is not that hard to make. Invar is not that hard to make. We could do that. We could actually do that. All right. Um, depends. It all depends. Okay, so. Magma Crucible. That's what we'll make. Uh, this is one thing. Um, paste Invar gear. Nether brick. Nether brick is with uh, an induction smelter, so we don't have the required resources to make that. Because we need the induction smelter, which the induction smelter is attainable possible we could do that and then we can make the upgrade and produce more lava okay so we don't want to do that we just wanted to make the nightmare crucible but what's this shulker shell some blaze powder might it's a blaze powder might, uh okay so shulker, a shulker shell okay so i'm guessing uh some blaze powder might motivate a trap chest to uh to go on about Give it a go. Remember, mix, mix can only uh, be made from trap chest. Okay, so yeah. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> so I don't think we need that at the moment. The magma crucible would be useful, but I don't have the use for the lava at the moment. I could just uh, grind out this into that. Uh, so yeah, we'll definitely make this. Um, and then this is going to be used to power it, which is not that bad. Uh, a bucket of lava with a thermal uh, generator. All right, all right, all right. So, forget all I said. We're going to make the, this, and then we're going to use that to make this, which is not that bad. Um, so let us get to it. This will give us power, which is why we have another room for Actually, I just realized that's going to be a bit of a pain. Uh, we got to make room for the... Because we can't... We can't do wireless power yet. We can't do wireless power. So we have to have one cube made for building power and to um and to build some uh wait and to build uh stuff like that. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's go to the good chest, put that away, because I don't want to get uranium. Uranium beaver's gonna get you down. Alright. Um, you ready to be beavers all around with a gun gun counter in my hand and open up all over and pop out. You ready to be beavers gotta get me down. All right, I just have to do that every time I say, every time I think about you ready. <laughs> all right, anyways, so Magma Crucible, all traffic, all topic, all topic, Magma Crucible. So, to make this, we need two pieces of the rack, two copper gears, one machine frame, a uh, hardened. It's always, I think it's okay. Christ. Oh boy, we actually have to make the induction shelter, I guess. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Alright. Magma Crucible. So, this. I gotta figure out which was the right one. Um, there we go. So, pulverized obsidian, lead, pyromethium. You have got to be kidding me. You have absolutely hurt. You gotta be kidding. Or four of these and one lead inside of a duction smelter. Okay, so we have to make the duction smelter either way. This is gonna be quite a easy task. We've been rambling on with this. All right, so induction smelter. So induction smelter. Induction smelter is made with two sands, a machine frame case, two copper gears, one redstone reception coil, and one invar gear. So we make invar is nickel and iron. So we need to go to the dust and grab the iron and nickel. I think we have nickel. Nickel grit right here. Yes, we do. So bada bing, bada boom. Um, 
Where's our iron? No, was it an iron that gives us an I more iron ore? I can't quite remember now. I can't quite remember. Does this give us, uh, this gives us gold, flint, radium? No, it's a stone. It's a stone pick. Okay, so. Stone picks. Wait, wait, wait. It might be the dumb and could just use any type of stone to make a cobblestone pick. Or does it have to be cobblestone? Just see. Looks like I'm seeing just cobblestone. So that means we need to make another wooden pick. Uh, actually, do I have another? Do I have a stone pick right here? No, I do not. I do have a wooden pick. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. All right. So let us go back. We're gonna make the induction smelter. Nope, oh, I don't. Want, I want this. Sorry. Um, I want to go here. Good. And I want to swap this for this. There we go. Uh, sawmill, I have no need for it, so if I just do this, there we go. No sense in having uh, to waste power on that. I don't really tend to use this. Um, If I need wood, if I need wood, I just go to this farm. No, not this farm. This farm right here. And this gives me plenty enough wood that I already eat. Like, look. I, like, I'm not struggling with uh, wood at all. I made my move. Um, so let me go. So we got more of these. That's nice. Uh, thormium. Uh, okay, lithium. What did I need to make with those? I needed to make something with those, and I forget what. Put that in there for now. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So, uh. I only got two pieces of cobblestone, so let us make. This. And then, wrong one. There we go. Keep forgetting to uh, move that in my hand. There we go. All right. Okay, so I think what I want to do is just have it like this so it doesn't bounce out. But at the same time, let's just see if that works so I don't have to worry about it for too much. Uh, keep a bit of that on me. And then there we go. Also, next episode, uh, or after I finish making these two videos, um... I might add full bright mod just so I don't have to worry about darkness ever again. But it's not that it's not that I have any issues with light and I do have issues with light when I talk about. Alright, so there we go. Uh that should give us and now that go. Hey, so in our ingots that would need pretty much two in our gear, so let us make that. Two of our gears, induction smelter. These two sand. I need a tin gear. Uh, tin gear, tin gear, tin gear. Uh, let's see here. Here's tin. I need sand. Or I should I should be good on glass actually. Yeah, thirty pieces of glass. Uh, okay, so back out. Go to here. Okay, induction smelter. Alright. Then, in gears, one. I need more tin, so let's go back here, look for the tin. Tin dust. Back out. Put like half of that in there. And just put the rest back. So, this is pretty much our, our entire uh, system right here of me going back and forth to this area right here. Um, I have another storage right here, so when that area gets full, I got a backup one right here. Um, but, yeah, vault two, this is storage vault one. 
So this is pretty much nice. He says more spacious room right there, but yeah. Uh, all in all, right there, pretty pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, I might. Uh, this gives me opportunity to put like one, two, three, four, five more right here, or two more right here. Fill up this room right here, and then have my home right here. And then I have access to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more of the chest right there. So yeah. All right, so invert is done. We got the tin. We gotta make two because we have to make. Um... Oh, come on. So we gotta make two of these because the adductor shelter and the magma crucible require both. There we go. Okay, so then we need two copper gears, sand, and. Uh... Oh, we still need sand. That is not not good. Oh, we do have cobblestone right here. Okay. So we'll put that there. The ingots can go back. I, t I need one, two, then three, four. There we go. Okay, so we got that. The induction filter is with two copper gears as well. So we go over here, grab copper one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That is why I do it separately because in case I put there, I didn't move them. All right, so two copper gears, and then we're missing the invar gears, and as well, where did I put the invar gears? Did I put it back here? Where did I put the invar gears? Right there. And then we're missing two pieces of sand, so we go for here, grab the iron hammer, and one, two. So there's the gravel. There's the sand. There we go. Then we complete this, the injective sculpture. Then we go over to here. Put it over here, let it power up. And then once we get that going, we need to make more blaze rods. So to make more blaze rods, uh, we just ignite a steel rod. Not that hard, not too hard. Okay. Uh, this is the wrong one. This is the one. We go over here to grab a steel. Where's our steel? So one, two, three, four. And then we need the flint and steel, which is over here. Go back out just to be safe. Write this. Throw this in here. Wait for this to turn. There we go. So now we got that done. We go back once more. And with it, we put this down here. We break off this to make four. Then jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, 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 jump on, jump on, jump, jump, jump on it. I swear, my head's like a TV stick. You ever get that moment right there that you're just doing something and all of a sudden you just like remember a reference? Oh my god, to it. So like uh, for me, like when, when you see uranium, I think of Fallout Uranium Fever, and then start seeing that, and uh, you just see jump on it and jump on it. Like anything like too catchy like that or something like that. I don't know. But, you guys get the point there. If you guys, if you guys, uh, if you guys, that's the that's that's the right question for you guys. If you guys feel, uh, ever feel like, uh, oh my God. okay, so here we go. Uh, let's see here. Get that in there. Let's see. Okay. Uh, we've got two pieces. Another right now. We need the main crucible. What are we missing here? Okay, so we're missing everything with the copper gears and that. So we need obsidian. Oh boy, we need obsidian. Okay, so to make obsidian, we put it on top of. 
Oh, is we we I hate this so much. I hate this so much. Okay, so Duction Smelter is obsidian and lead. Uh, we need to make a pulverizer then. Pulverize obsidian. Oh, I can make. Okay, I just need one piece of obsidian. That's not bad. Okay, there we go. That's not bad at all. Um, uh, come back. Oh, sorry. There we go. Back my hair. One, two, three, four. There we go. I could use a better pick, which I probably should, but at the moment I'm just trying to get this done as quickly as possible. There we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. And then we have to go over here. Get a book it. We must get the book. We go back out. All right, we have it's twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Let's see if we get done. Uh, there we go. And then, oh my God, I hate that so much. There we go. Is it one pulverized obsidian and induction smelter? Induction smelter, uh, it's four. I need to do this. Oh my god. Okay. Yep, we're gonna hardcore convert that. Alright, um, uh, let me see here. It takes 20, 20 minutes to make two machines, eh? Leave that. go at least they're making use of every single room like even this you know what I think happened uh, I don't know I'm speaking I'm, I'm speaking this on a random theory uh, when the mod pack de dev made this he wanted he, when he got to the squeezer part like he's like oh wait I actually need more room you can't do it in this compact area, so we'll have to use the. So we'll have to make the outside room big, bigger, or like this. He made this room after he figured it out. Uh, he made it originally. I think it was um, it was going to be like uh, two blocks high and a closed off area right here with this, but then he made it like this. That's what I'm thinking. That's my uh, theory on this. Is that. He made this just. He made this after. He made it bigger. Okay, so there we go. Why does it give four? Squeezer gives us one each every time we use it. The pulverizer will give us four. And pulverizer isn't. You know, I could I could get it done now if I just do the pulverizer. But I'm the, I'm I'm devoted now. You know what? I'm up. I'm, I'm motivated. I'm motivated. I am 100% motivated to do this. So, we're going to do this. <laughs> we could have made the pulverizer. Um, I might make the pulverizer off camera. But uh, at the moment there. It doesn't take that long, but it's better for anybody who just do this, make make a polarizer. Definitely make the polarizer. You got the power for it. And then that should be the last one. Yep. I 
I think I have lead at least. I don't know if I have lead. I'm pretty sure I no, I'm pretty sure no, I do. I'm pretty sure I, I have lead. Alright, there we go. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to make the polarizer regardless because I don't think I have a bit of lead dust. Wait, what am I thinking? I can't get a lead dust. Is there a way to convert this back up like to a pulley without having to break it and replace it every time? Like, let me see here. If I were to just break, like, right click it, does it restore back? Nope. You have to break it and reopen it. Okay. And then, one, two, four. There we go. And then, there we go. Let's see here. Please let there be lead. Yes, right here. Hey, back. Uh, here. Uh, let me see here. Induction smelter. I need lead grits. Yeah, and four of those. What? Why is it not working? Why do you need to work? Why do you need to work? Uh, does it not work with this lead, lead, uh, lead grits? Lead. Oh, I grabbed silver. What am I thinking? Uh, no, 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 no. I hate this so much. I hate this. I hate the thing. Uh, that's silver. Uh, this is lead. There we go. Okay, so now we got the hard, uh, hard glass right here. I'm reducible. We just need the copper gear. So, over here, over here. Four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll grab the stack and then just toss it in here. So, go. And bad big bad, bad, bad we got it. We just put this right here. Alright guys, that will do it for today's episode there. So your random question of the day what is what is uh do you end up doing what I do? And saying random quotes from random things uh when you're doing random stuff in general pretty much. Like do you, well, like, what do you think of uranium? Do you think uh, uranium fever is gonna get you down? I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one, guys. Peace.